Welcome back to Telltale and our short story Tuesday. This time I'm covering the um, story that is generally credited with launching the science fiction golden age. Black Destroyer by, I'm murdering this name, sorry, A.E. Van Vaught. <laughs> um, I have no clue how to pronounce his name. Anyway, this was Van Vaught's first published science fiction story. It appeared in the July 1939 issue of Astounding Science Fiction, along with Asimov's Trends. And this issue is generally, by most people, considered to have started the science fiction golden age under John W. Campbell. Now, I have some further thoughts about that that I'm going to cover in, in another video in the future. But uh, traditional science fiction history does describe this issue as launching the golden age and Black Destroyer in particular as the story most responsible for really changing things up. Now, in a lot of ways, this story isn't all that different from Campbell's own Who Goes There, except it doesn't take place on Earth. The basic plot is spaceship lands on a planet, and this alien gets on board the ship. And starts killing people and the the humans on board the ship have to try and deal with this sounds familiar right sounds like alien people who are really into science fiction movies will realize it sounds like it the terror from beyond space actually van vaught did take a lawsuit against ridley scott and 20th century fox for copying his story um not exactly sure how that ended up settled out of court or something like that but but anyway it is generally acknowledged that this story was an influence on the movie alien um personally i i think the movie alien is enough different from this that i i wouldn't have awarded anything i feel they're they're very different things even though they have that same basic plot. I mean, it's like saying that anybody who writes a story about going to the moon is infringing on rocket ship Galileo or something. You know, it's just, it's going to be a different story, even though it has that same basic general idea. You know, it, it, is it illegal to write anything about the Holocaust just because the diary of Anne Frank was already published no you can write your own spin on the holocaust there's there's a lot of different variations on that same basic story so i i think it's well personal opinion i don't think that black destroyer and alien are so much alike that they can't stand as separate works so I like both. Anyway, back to Black Destroyer. This story, like I say, it has a, has a lot of similarities with Who Goes There, except Who Goes There took place on Earth. The alien crash landed on Earth and gets into a, an Antarctica research station and starts killing people. In Black Destroyer, gets on uh, the Earth spaceship lands on an alien planet, and the alien creature gets on board the spaceship and starts killing people. So very similar plots there. So you know, if you really want to nitpick, the Golden Age gets started earlier than Black Destroyer, because there are stories like Who Goes There that are very much in the spirit of the Golden Age. They just were published before July 1939. But I don't want to downplay how terrific of a story this is. It is gripping. It is suspenseful. It's short, but very enjoyable. And I love how it kind of goes back and forth between the, per between the point of view of the alien and the point of view of the human beings. That's brilliant. It's a great little story. 
And um, not a lot more I can say about it because it is a short story. To say too much more is just giving too much away and taking away your enjoyment. I recently reread it as part of rereading the great science fiction stories, but I do have it in other books. Um, most prominently, this was the was one of a group of stories about this Earth spaceship called the Beagle, which were collected together as kind of a fix up into a sort of novel entitled The Voyage of the Space Beagle. And so if you come across this novel, it's not about a dog. <laughs> There's no dog in the in the story that I in any of the stories that I know of. But it's a great book, so it's worth reading. I've got a copy. Mine's the Science Fiction Book Club edition that was published in the 1990s by the Science Fiction Book Club. Or, you know, maybe they came out with it earlier, but I bought it in the early 1990s. It's a very, very good book, and this is a very good story. It's a classic story. It is a top tale. And I would encourage you to check it out. Give this and other science fiction short stories a chance, because the short story is really the foundation of the science fiction genre. So much of what science fiction is today came from the short stories that were written as far back as H.G. Wells, but then throughout the entire pulp magazine area era and into the current time, you still have magazines like Analog and Asimov's and Magazine of Fantasy and Science Fiction and, and newer magazines. Published. Some of them are online, some of them are actual magazines that are being published. Lightspeed is one. Um, Trying to remember the name of the one that Mike Resnick was editing. That was a terrific, that is a terrific magazine, though it was awesome under Resnick. So check those out. Short stories are a great, great resource for quick, enjoyable reads. I'll leave it with that. Till next time, like us, subscribe to us, comment on this, whatever you whatever thoughts you have about Black Destroyer, leave comments and come back for, for our next video on Friday, Saturday morning, Tuesday for the short story Tuesdays. We'll be here. We'll have a lot more, a lot more Philip K. Dick coming up. So till then, I hope you'll discover your next favorite read. Bye.